Earl, Magic Weekend, not as a player this time, but still as an athlete, you're doing the bike ride from uh, Huddersfield. Are you mad? Uh, yes, um, well, I'm retired. That's uh, it's, the, it's pretty much as uh, the same as being mad. Um, this is the first year actually that I've missed Magic Weekends as a player, and I played in every single Magic Weekend, and I absolutely loved it. Loved the experience, but now I get to experience it from a different side, and um, it's the Magic Ride for us, the Giants Magic Ride, riding up from Huddersfield, John Smith Stadium, to the Bobby Robson uh, statue outside. So it's uh, it's it's 120 miles. It's going to be a tough ride, and um, I'm not sure my backside's ready for it, but uh, mentally. I'm prepared. I'm, I've, I've been keeping fit, so I'm all right. Looking at it, obviously Andy Kelly, who uh, works with us, is doing the ride with Steve Hardesty and a few other guys. Tell us why you're doing the ride. So basically, it's coming up to a year since uh, Ronan Costello sadly passed away, and um, he was injured within a game, a brain injury, and uh, unfortunately that, that caused his death. Now we're actually riding up for Headway Charity, which is injury prevention. Now this is a, so a charity which obviously Rona Costello's family support, the Giants support, and also Andy Kelly and Steve Hardesty especially, who worked alongside Ronan. So this is the reason we're, we're riding up to Magic Weekend. We'd love it to become a, a major event for us, for the Giants. We'd love other clubs to do similar sort of things for their own charities. We'd like to make this as big as possible. We're actually sponsored this year by by Fat Lad at the back, which is a cycle company which has provided our gear and maintenance van and things like that. And uh, for them, it's about getting people on bikes, getting people fit, and not only just the injury prevention side of it, it's also being healthy. So we're trying to raise awareness of that and uh, also just a bit of fun as well. We're going to have a laugh along the way, but raise some money for a great charity. You are indeed. You're used to pain, running into big, tough athletes. This might be a pain of a different kind, though. Yeah, I think the first day we do about 80, 90 miles the first day and then it's a little cruising of about 30 the next day. So um, I'm a little bit nervous about that, the distance I'm not quite used to and um, I've already done a few bike rides recently, only about 40k, so it's, it's nowhere near that. So this is going to be tough, it's going to be tough mentally I think and those legs as well, but like I say, I've, I'm actually going to be here watching the games. But um, being able to sit on my backside, I'm not sure I'll be able to do that much longer, I'll be watching the game stood up. Uh, and looking, so looking at that, I've seen you've signed up for an, I, an Ironman as well. You're, you're I'm not ready for an Ironman just yet. I've uh, got Olympic distance triathlon, so I'm doing that and also York Marathon for Forget Me Not Trust as well. So I've been roped into doing that one. Uh, but these are all challenges, they're all focus that I need because I used to play, obviously, that's all I focused on week in, week out. I lack that now to a certain degree. So now I'm looking forward to setting myself new challenges and uh, pushing my body to the limits a little bit as well because uh, that's what I've always done and that'll never change. Have you been surprised by what you've been able to achieve so far? And I'd like to achieve a lot more. I'm just uh, been waiting to get over my injuries and I've had a couple of operations to finish off my career, especially on my, my left elbow, but I feel fresh. It's really strange not waking up every morning soaring in pieces, feeling like I've been run over by a bus. I did 10K on Friday, which was just a, a bit of a training session. I woke up the next day with a little bit of doms, which reminded me of playing, but today I feel fresh as anything again, raring to go. So um, I'm actually in a touch tournament later uh, at the in Newcastle, so it's uh, it's going to be interesting that one. I'll be getting my hands back on the ball, but um, that's as far as I'm going to go getting my boots back on. So how do we, if people want to sponsor you, obviously this fantastic cause, how do we do it? It's a couple of ways. We've got Just Giving page, and the best way probably to do it is to go through the Giants website. So just have a little look on the story there. There's a couple of links, different ways, and I'll show you how to donate. But the donation, it, it, we're not talking massive money. We just want somebody to donate something. So even if it's a pound, anything will do. It'll contribute to this great charity and uh, hopefully raise a bit of money.